Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 5 of Sonic Gomans. Previously, Shadow embarked on a mission to find the Chaos Diamonds and also fight against one of those Chaos Monsters. So now, Shadow, along with Sonic, continued their pursuit of Eggman. I wonder if they're going to work together. The answer is no. Man, what was that all about? Ugh. That reaction from the Emerald. It was something else, eh? T Tails! Come on, wake up, buddy. This is no time to nap. Still putting your friends in danger. Because you can do it alone. What are you doing here? Working. This time, the doctor has bitten off more than he can chew. He's even managed to get a GN's bad side. So that's what's been going on. But Gun's bots are too rusted to tell us and Eggman apart. <laughs> even they think you are being a pest. However, the situation has changed, Sonic. The disappearance of the Chaos Emeralds has awakened something, and it longs for destruction. I can't get distracted from my mission. Not so fast. Leave Eggman to me. I still owe him a butt-kicking for what happened on the island. <laughs> Remind me, wasn't it Ju-An and your friend that stopped Eggman? When you could not. <laughs> and yet that warranted them getting into it like this? Like That's because you knocked me off the island! Really? Well, maybe you should stop getting in my way. I the way don't... I see it. You're the one in my way. Thanks to you, Admin is getting away. Then work together to chase him down. <laughs> that was a warning shot. Now's your chance, Sonic. Why is it that they're always so quick to fight each other first and then cooperate later or never? I don't get it. Such foolishness. Yeah, pretty much. <coughs> I gotta catch up. Jesus. What is the situation? Oh boy. Looks like Eggman was expecting us. The perimeter is fortified with robots everywhere, and communications have been jammed. Doctor teached us and escaped on the train. Well, that's just rude. He should have stayed to greet his guests. Enough. I need to focus. I will contact you as soon as possible. Go get him, Tiger. Alright, United Railroad, the most anticipated stage of this entire game, and even though it is aesthetically pleasing, um, this stage also has its own problems. One of them you already saw, but I'll get into it. But for now, Cortana. Welcome to the United Railroads, built for a united world. With the events that have altered our planet, we have met these changes with open arms. The United Railroads mission is to utilize our expansive railway network. To unite humanity and our new neighbors. Like King Genius Boy Guy, Guy, Guy. Welcome. I actually like how they tried to do background story for United Railroads via the AI. But yes, um, one of the problems with United Railroad is, without a doubt, the spikes. There is a lot of them, and I. I call out United Railroads as having a spike fetish, because that's exactly what it has. A spike fetish and I'm honestly not digging it that much like even in this area like in these areas here there's spikes here like why <laughs> like come on now but um, other than that uh, we'll get to whatever shadow was standing on the moment there as well but yeah spikes don't like them this right here yeah I actually kind of like how Gas Girl is utilizing this so that way he can get better footing. So, yeah, Chaos Control is going to be your best friend in uh, this stage here. And I like that because I think Chaos Control needs some much, much needed attention. There was no need for all those dash panels, he can just walk on this just fine. 
Yeah, I think. Oh, yep. See? Okay. At least there, it acts as a hazard, not just something you just spread around over the fucking floor. Seriously, man. I, I, I'm not joking when I say, you know, the robot has the biggest spike fetish and Eggman panels, which I'm pretty sure you've been seeing in unfair placements. Yeah, that's also going to be of concern. I say as I roll my eyes because, yeah. Anytime I think of spikes or Eggman panels and other problems that this stage provides, that is an eye roller. But the mix of nature and I want to say mechanical here is what really just. Oh, floor. Seems I should be careful with these platforms. Is where I think this stage shines out of all of them. Because, you know, look at this. It's like this run down or yet to be fully developed railroad. And they're building it around all the plant life here. So, yeah, definitely love the way how this stage looks and love more spikes. So I think here, I mean, you got fire. Like, they, what could they not choose between the two? Fire, spikes. At least the Eggman panels down there aren't, you know, dickishly placed. Which is good because. I mean, if you recall the tree palace, you would know that there's a section where they put the. They put the, um. The, um, tree. The Eggman panels. Near the edge where the blue platforms come out of. A train. Now you're mine, Eggman. And I noticed a lot of people had a problem with this, but. I figured as long as you got some boost in it only switches camp dash as well, so either or works. Kinda like to use boost if he has it available. Also a fair warning, um quality dips. I just on the intro, seriously. Um just to get that out there, I have a RTX Super um twenty seventy. Oh look! Jackal Squad! From forces, I say as I flip it off. Fuck forces. But anyways. Um, I have a super 2070 RTX laptop. And I looked up some tutorials on how to optimize games via um, NVIDIA. Also, using Chaos Control, that kind of helps out. Don't go in there, that's fire, so... Nope, avoid that like the coronavirus. So, I don't know why I'm getting all these performance issues with the graphics card that I have. You don't stand a chance against me. This part, I think it's quite infamous because he literally has to open that door by defeating all these egg pawns. And it's gonna be hard to do that when they're constantly gunning him down like this. Especially when their assault is relentless. Seriously, you have no idea how many people I've seen struggle with this. Also, I advise anyone to just get the most airtime possible because falling platforms is the name of this area. And they are all over the damn place. Alright, got through that pretty good. I got through that pretty good. So yeah, I don't understand why... I'm getting all these performance issues when I have this graphics card. I'll learn the difference between laptops and PCs. Thorn Duck. <laughs> I have no clue. You know what it looks like? It reminds me of, uh, what's that platypus from P uh, um, PBS and Ferb? Perry the Platypus? <laughs> That's what it looks like. I don't know why I think that, but yeah. Um, yeah, I just don't understand it. Even after going through all the tutorials with the NVIDIA, um, settings. I try my best to optimize it the best way I can, so at the very least, the game doesn't crash and burn. But, Jesus, man. They really should have, at the very least, optimized this for GTXs, because 
I need to look up what the minimum requirements were. I also ran out of Chaos Dash here, so... I don't get it, man. Even when I tried so hard to try to stream PC games, like Genshin Impact or ReCore, like still, I have the exact same problems over and over and over again. I just don't understand it, so... Definitely gonna have to dig deep with the optimization. You know, I already have acceleration GPU on. So here we have quite possibly the worst section in the entire stage here. Sonic. Oh, okay. There he goes. There are spikes all over the damn place. The slammers here will be right on top of them all the time. See, look at this. These Eggman panels that are everywhere. Like, seriously, why? Like, you don't need all these spikes here. It's bad enough that you have to go through all these crushers here. Why combine that with the spikes and the... Yeah, the, the Eggman bouncers. Like, come on, man. And then it gets worse from here. Seriously, I'm thinking God that performance is on done so I can keep checking what the hell is going on. Because this, this, all of this... Ease up. Jesus, you look at this. Spikes and Eggman bouncers. Like, come on. Just stop, okay? And it's bad enough that he's gonna go through all of this. These, yeah, that. The signs that are showing up. From, you know, on the ceiling. Is nerve wracking. Hey. Ran out of gear dodge again, so. Damn it, man. Uh, I I think United Railroads is a stage that I really want to like, but I wish it was better. Because this, this right here, good lord. Also, what I like about this stage here is the advertisements. If you look to your left and right, um, you see advertisements for, yep, there's Lucky. <laughs> there he is. And then you also see ads for Bokun, like that one. And you also see one of uh, Dico and Boko, so lots of Sonic X up here, which I'll never understand. Jesus Christ, it's slow down. So yeah, um, aesthetically great. I also love the soundtrack in this area, but the spike fetish and the Eggman bouncers, like... Uh... <coughs> is how I would describe the hazards of this stage here. Come on, man. Shadow. Oh, Lord. Whoa! Okay, Egghead. Now you've gone too far. Damn it. The Doctor is well known for this kinds of tactics, but this time feels hastily planned. He must be desperate. But why? So, we should do that in the game. Oosh, the doctor is leaving the station. I need... Shadow. I'm listening. You've done well. Retreat. Gun wipe of the situation from here. <laughs> Affirmative. This time it's different! I can't afford to lose! You don't stand a chance against me this time, Hedgehog! We both know how this will end! Right, Robotnik? Oh great, that's a good callback to Sonic Set AM. Um, Metal Amber, if I read that correctly. I actually like where this boss fight was going, but uh, this also has its own problems. Uh, for one, I would say that, yeah, well, there's that problem, being able to not dodge in midair, so... Think of Boko got their own cooking show? Nice! Uh, one of the biggest problems is the inability to, to move in midair, so... When Sonic is in the air, he is wide open. Increase coolant injection rates! 
If you quit now, we could save a lot of time and broke the robot. <sighs> and the other problem include running into cars because that stops progression of the, the chase here. But, you know, for everything else, and also they should have included that notification of conserve your boost, you're gonna need it. Because, yeah, for this, you are absolutely gonna need boost. Especially when he fires that gigantic laser. Because that's when you're really gonna need it. So, yeah, be conservative of the boost here. And pay attention to the arrows because. These might as well be quick time events. And finally, the dash panels are useful. Instead of just being there for the second guinea speed, even though they could have done it by themselves. Jesus, and then there's times where the performance goes back to a solid frame rate. I don't understand how this is happening. Yeah, just like that. When he's in the air, he is wide open. Also, spikes. Again, ease up on the spikes a tad. Because it's bad enough he has to avoid cards to catch up to him. And potential falling hazards. Okay. Seriously. I get that games get difficult as they go, but this this is a bit much. So overall, not a bad boss fight, but this really needs improvement. Like this episode, I feel, just needs to ease up on the hazards. Professor Ivo Robotnik, you are under arrest for violation of Section 618B of the Mutual Protection Act. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. So Gun finally did hey, their job. The Emeralds! You can't take them! According to Section 600 of the Mutual Protection Act, you, Sonic, are also in violation. Uh, what? The agreement states that you oversee the protection of the Chaos Emeralds, does it not? Since you have failed to uphold your end of the contract, the Guardian units of nations are now responsible for the Chaos Emeralds. If it wasn't for me, Eggman would have escaped with the Emeralds! You're lucky that we don't take you in as well, Hedgehog. Stop, you fools! You can't let the Emeralds fall into the hands of- We've seen these guys before. They're back! Uh, huh. What the? Who are you? <laughs> you may call me exiled. What an honor to finally meet you. Controller of the light. We're finished here. God's been very useful to me. But everything must come to an end. Controller of the light. There's a phrase I've heard in a long time. So yeah, man, Metamix are back. <laughs> Wait. Stop. Give them back. Hero tells the villain what to do cliche. Also, we're gonna get into this plot point with these two later because it's actually kinda dumb. But now it is time. <sighs> To just walk and reflect. <sighs> God. Where to begin? Where to begin? <sighs> like I said before, this is a game that was made out of spite. Okay? 
So far, I want to say that the best levels in this game was Child Paradise, Area 99, if you will ease up on the spikes and lasers. Um, White Jungle wasn't a deal breaker. Uh, Tree Palace needs a complete overhaul. Just remake it completely. Wild Ridge for Tales, follow the Star Fox um, format. I absolutely hate how they're using the 4K version of the Sonic Get soundtrack. I will keep saying that because I'm hearing it again. Uh, Garn Arsenal wasn't that bad. United Railroad, please, please, please get rid of the spikes in Eggman bumpers. God, I hate 4K so much. And, um,. Moldy Jungle was alright. You know, a nice um, change of pace. Um, and the reason why I keep saying why are they using the 4 kids version of Sonic Kids soundtrack because that's exactly what this is. They've been using it all the time. And, you know, the, the 4 kids dub of Sonic X, trash. And I know that's how we all experienced Sonic X before. Because back then we were kids. We probably didn't know any better and neither did they so if you haven't seen Sonic X yet please see it in sub not because it's better but you also hear the soundtracks from Adventure 1 and 2 so that was a delight <sighs> god and as for the story we made it the Chaos Emeralds have securely connected our worlds I'll get to it once separated united again now there is no need to fight for the resources of the planets the energy of chaos will be enough for everyone we're ready to strive for a better future together isn't that true my friend all right see you on and this will do it for episode five of sonic omens next episode we take the fight to this exile character and figure out what's really going on. So until then, look forward to it.